Good morning. My name is Chuck Polinick, and I'm speaking to you from Borders One in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Today, James and I would like to talk to you about stock shrinkage and some of the books and movies that will be most likely to disappear from your store. First, let's start with Clown Girl by my friend Monica Drake. Clown Girl is an incredible dark romantic comedy that might even become a movie with Sarah Silverman. That will make it prime shoplifting material. The next book is Amy Hempel's Collected Works. Amy Hempel. Not only is she beautiful, she is maybe the best fiction writer in America today. My favorite method with Amy Hempel books is to lift my pant leg and you place the book around your calf inside the sock. That's the problem with this book. So you have to have really big pants. Let's try Amy's book another way. Oh my God, I'm too fat to shoplift. So let's try this with a different book. Nathaniel West, Day of the Locust. A great book made into a terrible Karen Black movie. We won't even go to that. <laughs> oh my gosh, is there a good Karen Black movie? But uh, Day of the Locust, this book, easy to shoplift. Again, in the sock, under the pant leg, Day of the Locust, yours. Another book to keep your eye on is Knock 'em Stiff by Don Pollock. It's some of the best short stories that I've seen in, in my entire adult life. And so what people are going to do with Knock 'em Stiff is they're going to rifle through the book looking for that little magnetic thing that sets the alarms off, which I can't seem to find. So make sure that every copy of Knock 'em Stiff has got lots of those little magnetic thingies inside so people cannot steal this book. There are some books that are so great you really can't blame people for stealing them. And one of those books is Lucy Greeley's memoir, Autobiography of a Face. A fantastic, fantastic book. And, and one of my inspirations for Invisible Monsters. So Lucy Greeley autobiography of a face. You can't really blame people for trying, but that's how it's done. Forbidden words. According to this book, the vibrator was the fourth popular thing in American homes to be electrified, preceded only by the sewing machine and the clothes iron. So forbidden words, full of everything you would ever want to know about uh, Talking Dirty. It's one of my favorite books. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> also be on the lookout for people who will sit all afternoon and read this book, Ill Nature by Joy Williams. Um, they tend to be the kind of people who will just monopolize the best chairs and then read the book to pieces without paying for it. It's such a great book. So, Here's one of, another one of my favorites, 30 Days of Night, starring Josh Brolin. Who can blame me? It's the best vampire movie in 10 years. Thank you, and please, take my word for it. Don't mess with James, 30 Days of Night. And thank you very much for joining us at Borders One in Ann Arbor, Michigan. My name is Chuck Polinick. <laughs> you look so defeated. I know it is. <laughs> hey.
So do you have to ask a question to get the dollar or you just one thrown out to you? No, I was actually throwing someone behind me and I just grabbed it because I'm that guy. <laughs>